We're back. And I've been trying to overclock this thing um, using the suggestions that everybody uh, dropped in the comment section. Thank you very much. It really helped a lot. Um, right now, it is running at 3.75. I've been having a little trouble running that 8 gigabytes of RAM though, and I'm starting to think that the 8 gigabytes of RAM is what's kind of messing this whole situation up. I pulled that 8 gigabytes of RAM and I installed that 3 gigabytes. Here is the 8 gigabytes of RAM that I got from China and it wouldn't run at anything over 266. Actually I think I might have got it to run at 333 but um, right now let's see and right now it's running at 500 megahertz 3 gigabytes and um, I couldn't get the 8 gigabytes to, to do it it was maxing out at the 333 megahertz and when I had it at 333 this was at like 411 it's either the board that doesn't like the 8 gigabytes or this is kind of iffy RAM and it doesn't want to overclock so what I'm going to do right now since I have this machine running with the 3 gigabytes in it and stuff I am going to take this 8 gigabytes and I'm going to put together this PC right here. I'm going to put it together and I'm going to install this 8 gigabytes of RAM and see if it'll boot because I'm really curious to see if this board supports 8 gigabytes because there are people on line and on YouTube that said it supported 8 gigabytes but I never really saw this board running 8 gigabytes so that's what I'm going to do. I'm super curious. Um, like I said I switched the fan. I took it off the off this one and put it on that one so now I've got this thick fan and um, this one works with just little clips on the edge but this one needs to be screwed on and these screws right here are from the little fan and they obviously don't fit down in there to secure the fan so I went over to my drawer and I just got some uh, some bigger screws and I think those are gonna work that Corsair 750 watt power supply that I got out of the um, Digital Storm gaming PC months ago and I took it apart did a video about it oiled up the fan because the fan was super noisy and this thing has been sitting on my shelf for I don't know a few months at least without being used so it's kind of be interesting to see if the fan still sounds okay so we'll do a, a fan test also see if it stays lubed or not over all those months so that was pretty quick uh, we got the hard drive hooked up we got the RAM and the CPU cooler uh, we got keyboard, mouse, and monitor. The monitor has a uh, power. Now all I gotta do is plug in the PSU and see what happens. Turn on this PSU. There's the green light. Eight gigabytes of RAM. Ah! I don't know. Is it gonna boot? Is it going to boot? Oh, I need to figure out um, which pins are the ones to turn it on. I think it might be these two. Okay, I was trying to figure out which pins were the power. And just to make it fun, we're going to hook up a power button. And the power button is going to be... Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if any of you guys have watched this video, but I did a mod video a couple years ago where I took this half 9, 932 case front and I modded this front panel to put a USB 2.0 on there. 
or 3.0, excuse me. So um, we're going to use this and plug in the power and use the button. See if it works. Let's see if it works. I think that's the right one. I looked it up online. All right, here we go. Let's push the power. We got no beep. So, well, that sucks. Hmm, could it be the Phenom chip? See, the thing is, is that this chip is a 125 watt chip, and I think this board only supports up to 95 watts. So, there still might be a chance that these eight gigabytes, or this four gigabyte sticks will work. Let's power it down, and find a different CPU. Uh, kind of sucks, but um, we'll go ahead and go with this old school Athlon uh, 64X2. The chip is switched. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to um, leave that two gigabyte stick in there right now and see if it boots. And then we'll, and then we'll swap over the, um, to the eight gigabytes. Let's, let's see. What am I doing wrong here? Now I can't even get this fucking computer to boot. We got RAM. We got a CPU. We got a hard drive. Keyboard. Mouse. Oh my god. I bet you guys are screaming at me right now. <laughs> you know what it is? I'm on a diet right now, and I'm, today I'm fasting. I haven't had any food today, and look at it. I didn't even plug in the fucking CPU. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I'm telling you, when you're not eating food and you're fasting, it really fucks with your brain. <laughs> I have to post this just because it's such a knucklehead fucking thing to do. So, all right. This might have been the dumbest thing I've ever done on camera. Well, maybe not, but you don't need to know about all the dumb things I've done. <laughs> all right. Now we got the CPU plugged in. <laughs> Wow, I feel pretty stupid. All right, let's try this again. No? We got nothing still. The fan spun up for a second, and then nothing. This video has turned into a utter disaster. Let's go ahead and unplug the PSU. Drain the board, plug it back in, oh, overclock failed, I forgot this thing's all overclocked right now, look at it, it's got overclocking settings on there trying to overclock that little chip, <laughs> look at this is still all set, the BIOS is all set to this stuff still, alright, and we should be booting into XP. <laughs> I might be editing this video and kind of starting over, cutting out a big middle section where I forgot to attach the CPU. <laughs> oh man. What I'm going to do now is, since we got all that figured out, now I'm going to um, shut it down and install that RAM. Alright, here's the real test if it'll even get into BIOS with 8 gigabytes of RAM installed. All right, we got 8 gigabytes installed. Let's go ahead and turn it on. We got the Cooler Master front panel. Oh, it is! It's posting! No fucking way! No fucking way! Maybe. Maybe not. Oh! 
8 gigabytes of RAM installed and it's posting. That's looking rad. I went to the BIOS and I enabled cool and quiet. Here's the board. The M2M MX SE Plus. And it is running the Samsung RAM 4 gigabyte modules. I actually love Windows XP. I mean, if I'm gonna make a retro gaming system, I might as well keep Windows XP on there. I have a license for it, so it'll be activated and everything. I even believe that if you get the right virus protection and stuff, it's safe to go online with it. And the main thing I need to do is um, get a case and a PSU. This PSU is already going in a different build, so I can't use it, and it's pretty big anyways. And listen to that. The noise you hear is actually the, the CPU fan. But this thing is totally silent after oiling it up months ago. So that was awesome. The CPU fan is kind of going fast right now just because um, I got that little Athlon chip overclocked a little bit to uh, 2.25 gigahertz. <laughs> and um, I did adjust the memory settings too in the BIOS and it's running at 321 now. I might try to bump it up a little bit more. And uh, there's the main board. So if anyone um, on the internet is thinking of running eight gigabytes on this board, it works. The only thing that's um, holding me back right now is a 64-bit uh, OS. And um, I can probably download a copy of Windows XP 64-bit. This is pretty exciting. 8 gigabytes in the old board. Stoked. Alright guys, this is the end of this one. Um, I'll be throwing this into a case very soon. And uh, see you guys in the next one.